Hey, what's up guys? So I've got kind of a cool application here for the trig board, sort of based off of what I did in my last video where we can send a push notification not only when the garage opens, but also if the garage was left open. So I basically applied everything from that video to this application, which is if the deadbolt here on my door is open, I get the, let's see if we get the push notification. There we go. Zoom in on that and you see lock unlocked and gives us the battery voltage. So I've got a trig board hooked up to this. But even better is what if you left the front door unlocked? So let me simulate a timer wake. Just give me one sec here. Okay, I just simulated a timer wake by pressing the wake button there. And then there is our notification. And it says this time, still unlocked. So this is an actu a very simple uh, in installation, um, which I'll show you here in a second. But another very useful uh, way to use the trig board in that hack I talked about from the last video, which by the way, I'll put links to in the description below. So let's take a closer look at what I got going on here. All right, I'm gonna have to hold the camera by hand, so apologize if it's a little shaky here, but this is my front door, and obviously I already have a trig board mounted up there, giving me the push notification when the door opens. So I have a separate trig board just for the deadbolt here. And I'll just open this up a little bit here just to give us some light. But inside the deadbolt cavity is a tactile push button, which I'll show you in a second here. And then that wires down all the way to the ground, wraps around, and then we have the trig board, a little battery, and this is a hacked trig board with that MOSFET, as I showed in the last video. And uh, by the way, this is just a temporary setup. Eventually, I want to kind of button all that up, put a little 3D printed case around it, so it looks real nice. But uh, so that's. That's all there is to it. It's just two wires from a tactile push button. So let's take a closer look at that. Okay, so if we look inside the deadbolt cavity here, um, I did try to do this a few different ways, but this just was so easy. Um, I tried to mount magnets to the deadbolt, you know, do something like that, but this was just perfect. So I, I dropped in a tactile switch down there. It's just a simple push button and uh, wired that up in through the cavity, drilled a tiny little hole big enough just for the wires, and then those go down to the trig board. Um, and I did mount it in there with some thick double-sided tape, almost like a foam tape, so that as the deadbolt presses into it, it's not like smashing and bottoming out into the button. So it gives it a little bit of a cushion there and also that uh, hopefully will not damage the push button over time. So uh, let me show you something else real quick too. So the deadbolt here, you know, you want to make sure if you're going to try this that you are you have enough space in there that the deadbolt can fully extend out otherwise and lock. Otherwise it's pretty easy to just push it in. So if somebody stuck a credit card or something in there they could easily push the deadbolt back in. But the deadbolt, so it needs to actually fully lock because now you can't push it in. So when I shut this, you can see that there's some play in the lock there, so it is fully extended out in the locked position. So then just to kind of show you what it looks like as the lock opens, we do that. You see it immediately wakes the trig board up and it sends out that push notification to my phone. And then I have the resistor set on there by default to wake up once an hour. So if I left this door open for an hour, it would then send me that notification saying, hey, you left your, uh, your front door unlocked. So that's kind of cool. Same exact thing I had set up in the garage door video. Um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. Now, if, if I were to go outside, you see first that the door unlocked, and then when you open the door, that trig board up there gets triggered, and then I get the notification saying the front door has opened, which I, oops, clear that. So now you see front door open, and we can look at all of them. So lock unlocked, front door opened. So that's all I have for this video. Again, all the details on this are in the description below. Make sure you watch the last video on the garage door, and, uh, 
check out the wikis for everything too. So cool. That's it. Thanks for watching.